Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Paul Derzan. And Synergy, of course, has been a big topic of discussion topic, at the big. show. Probably the biggest announcement that HP made. Yep. And customers are talking about it, obviously. Yes. But, but what are they saying? Is there skepticism? Is there positivity? Like, what, yep. what's, the, what's the pulse? Yeah, so I think we've received really good feedback overall from, from both the customer community, the analyst community, and the press community. In, in my mind, they've been waiting for something like this, right? What's happened is the industry's gotten in this dilemma of I have my big traditional infrastructure, but I know I have to move into this new age of infra this new world of the digital economy, and I'm really stuck in between two worlds. So it's really resonating, bringing this thought of composability that helps them in traditional today and, and lets them move forward into the future. So what kinds of things are you hearing from customers about that? Yeah, so, so really when they look at their infrastructure, their traditional infrastructure, they're essentially stuck in place. All of their money's going there, all of their budget's going there, and they still move too slow there. At the same time, like I said, they're figuring out, hey, how do I move to this new world? How do I start to get my infrastructure to align to my development process, right? So I have that matching of workflows, that one-to-one -one, uh, dev workflow with my infrastructure workflow, as we like to say. And so that coupling's very appealing. I think that's been one of the bigger uh, more exciting things to customers, the ability to have that single API reach down and program that infrastructure. Um, everyone's trying to figure out how do I automate my environment, whether it's traditional or new. And, and again, that single API is really resonating because they know it'll make it much easier for them to uh, automate. Now, I know this is a new announcement, but it, do you guys have any, any reference customers that are currently using Composable that you're, you're pointing to and saying, hey, look, here's something, it's in the wild, it's really working? Yep. Uh, we don't have reference customers yet, so I think that'll, that'll be coming soon. Um, right now, the reference customers is HPIT. They've been using it very successfully. That's a pretty big one, though. Yeah, that's a, it's a really big customer, and they've they've um, done some really successful experiments with it or, or put it into their labs. And and it, the great thing is they're they're seeing the returns of what we're talking about. The ease of managing physical and virtual is one. The ease of composing your systems for both environments, and thereby having the ability to essentially manage them together, and the ease of getting things running up much faster. They've really accelerated their ability to deliver an environment through Composable. Now you mentioned that the, the press and analysts are excited about this yep. as well. They tend to be very skeptical. What yes, is it, what, what, <laughs> how did you win them over? Well, I think, I think we have a really a, a story that's resonating with the industry right now, right? Again, it's this story of, and, and this has been a, something the industry has been looking for for a long time, and it's really exciting, it's coming to x86, of you know breaking the boundaries of the server, starting to bring your resource pools outside of those boundaries so they can be shared and using software-defined intelligence to real-time give the application the footprint it needs. So that, that's a story that most people want to do. They understand that that helps them automate their data center because we integrate with higher level tools like Docker and Chef and Puppet and HP software. Um, it makes it a lot easier for them to go and essentially create this bare metal cloud and start to automate their environment. Very cool. Thanks, Paul. Good. Thank you.